The Apostle Peter is one of my favorite Bible characters. Not only did he write two of the books of the Bible, but he was one of Jesus' closest friends and disciples. He was a man of action. You might remember that it was Peter who, when they came to arrest Jesus in the garden, drew his sword out and chopped the ear off of Malachi, the servant of the high priest. With that vengeful swing, Peter openly attacked the ruling authorities of that time because he believed that they were in the wrong. Interestingly, Peter, several years later, writes in his first epistle to the believers to submit themselves to every authority instituted among man. He understands and agrees with the Apostle Paul who said in his letter to the Romans that there is no authority except that which God has established. And remember that both of these letters were written during a time when the followers of Christ were being persecuted by the ruling authorities for their beliefs, even unto death. So this was no easy teaching. Two days ago, our country elected a new president along with many other men and women who participate in the governing of our land. During these times, we often fear what may occur with new leaders in position, and we forget the sovereignty of God. Peter calls us to show proper respect to everyone, love the brotherhood of believers, fear God, and honor the king. Regardless of who we voted for or what we believe about our new officials, we are commanded to submit to them in such a way that brings honor to our Father who put them there.